Hi, this is PD at Bergsberg Arcade at bergsbergarcade.com, and this is tutorial number 82. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take our little package that we made here, our day-night cycle project, and we're going to package it up into a Unity package and then export it and then re-import it into our game. So let's go ahead and take a look and see exactly what it is we're going to need. We're not going to need any of these 3G, 3D objects. Um, let's see what else. Well, there's a couple of cleanup things we should do. We should turn some of these things into prefabs. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder, which I'll call prefabs. And inside, I'm going to make three prefabs. So I'll just go in and go create prefab. And then I'll just duplicate it twice. And the first one I'm going to call game time. And I'll just take my game time and drag it on. There we go. The next one is going to be sun. And I'll call it lit. And what this is going to mean is any sun that actually has a light element to it that we're going to use. And I'm going to have another one called sun unlit. And this will be tied to all of our suns that do not have uh, a light element attached to it. So those are the only prefabs we need to make. Uh, as far as the actual light on our torches and stuff like that, uh, let's add that to the component menu up here under environments. So let's go ahead. Uh, we've already done this before with our sun script. So I'm just going to open up Mono Develop, And right here. We can actually just take this, copy it, and we'll add it to that script, which is in our day-night cycle, and we called it timed lighting. So right above the class, we add the line that we copied from our sun script. Now, what do we want to call it? I'm just going to call it timed lighting. So when we open up our component menus and go under environment, we have time lighting. And we actually might want to change the name of this. I'm going to change it to day night cycle. Just a bit of cleanup before we make our package. So day space, uh, yeah, I'll put a space. Night cycle. Save it, go over here. Same thing, day, night cycle and of course it should update there we go so this way here we just know where the components are for our day night cycle a little bit better and that's pretty much all the cleanup I'm gonna do for now there might be more later on when we add more features but that should be good for now so what exactly do I need well I'm gonna want these prefabs I'm going to want all the scripts. Now, even though I have the C Sharp Manager or Messenger uh, package already created, and uh, I can import that separately, since it is needed for this package to work, I'm going to include it in this package. And then when I'm importing it into our game, if I don't already have it in our game, I'll import it. And, of course, if I already do have it, I can just choose not to import it. And if you keep the same hierarchy structure it'll detect that it's already added and you won't even have to worry about it importing it twice and worst case scenario it does import twice you just go and delete one of the copies so I know I want all my scripts I want all my prefabs and I am gonna want the shaders I don't care about sky boxes there's nothing in standard assets I needed now lens flares I don't need them for this package to work and I already have a package of all my sun flares so I don't need that so there's a couple ways we can do this now. Uh, we can just click all the stuff we want. So prefabs to shaders is what I want. Right click, choose export package, and it'll bring up this little window and you'll see how it's all laid out. Now I'm gonna want this, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. You can change the hierarchy. Maybe you'll want to have everything put into a separate folder so you can come in, create a folder, and call it whatever you want. Let's say uh, day, night, cycle. And then we could take the stuff that we're going to actually 
put in the package and just drop it in the folder. Now, if we try to export the package, you'll notice you have um, an extra level here. And that could help actually keep things uh, separated when you're importing a lot of packages into your applications. But since I generally have my hierarchy pretty much set in stone the way I like to do it, I'm going to export those back to here. I'm not going to use a different package or a different level. And I'm going to select what I want. And like I said, you can right click or another way is to come up to asset and choose export package. Either one works. So these are all the things I'm going to grab. I believe that's all I need. Now I am grabbing a couple art assets here. And I don't really need these. So I don't want that. I don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Because these are all included in the lens flare package you get from Unity. And I do want my prefabs. I want all my scripts. And I want my shader. So I only had to uncheck these. And the only reason why these were included is because they're attached to the prefabs. Now if you do include them, it's you know not the end of the world. But that's what I want. I'm just going to hit export. It's going to ask me where I want to put them. And I always put them right in the standard asset packages that comes with Unity. So if I go into Unity, standard packages, this is where I like to put them. Now I don't believe I actually have my day night cycle yet. And I had ordered it according to, uh, I generally build folders in here. And there's not showing up under my old Unity. Um, I wonder if it erased them. Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to create a new folder in here. And I'm just going to call it, you know, Bergzerg Arcade Packages. You don't have to make another folder. And if you do, you obviously don't have to name it that. But inside of here is where I want to save what the package is called. And I'm just going to call it Day night cycle if I spell it and I'll just hit save it's going to go on export it it's going to show me where it is and that's fine 16k now I'm going to save the project because I'm probably going to have to come back and make a few tweaks uh, one thing I just realized is that your prefabs when you create a prefab and you save it down here it saves all the property settings that you have so you'll notice here under my Sun it's already set to have a size of two and it didn't keep the the links to them which is fine we really wanted it to start off at zero uh, I'm going to keep these values as a default because when I import them into my other game uh, it'll import these properties as well so since I fixed that there I'm going to go ahead and re uh, uh, recreate the package so prefab scripts and there's probably a few others I'm missing uh, if you find out that you are or the package when it imports isn't the way you really want it to, by default you just load the this project back up and just make a new new uh, package out of it so I'm just gonna export again and the first four I did not want because there were art assets and there's nothing wrong with including them and on second thought, I actually am going to include these this time. This way here, I have my lights set up by default, already having a flare, and I can always change them. It's almost 2 in the morning, so I'm probably going to be prone to change my mind quite a few times. So just to make sure, I'm just going to hit all. Uh, quick look, everything's still there. Export, I'm just going to overwrite the old one. Come down to my Unity folder. And standard packages, Bergsberg Arcade packages, day night pack or cycle, and replace. So there we go. It's a little bit bigger now because of the art packages, but that's fine. Or the lens flares. So I'll make sure it's saved, and in the next video, we're going to import. Just keep this package handy or this project handy. Uh, just in case you want to make any quick changes, it's going to be a lot easier in this package than it will be in your other game. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.